Jules, let's stick with PSG. We're hearing a Julian Nagelsmann, Thierry Henry duo in the technical area. Uh, how would this work with that dressing room? I think this one is fascinating. And to be fair, I, I think Thierry will refuse it. I don't think he will come. But, but the talks are ongoing right now. Nagelsmann is expected tomorrow in Paris. He will talk more with, with the, uh, the, the PhD chairman, Asel Khalaifi, who is composed of sporting director. Thierry Henry will be in those talks. Uh, I think he wants to be a number one and not a number two again, like he was with Belgium. But it's, it's really interesting what Nagelsmann has done here. We know some of the problems that he had, some of the issues he had at Bayern Munich was the relationship with some big players, some big personalities within the dressing room. And Nagelsmann is not your... It's not this man manager, man management sort of kind of guy. He's not like that. He's not a Zidane type or Carlo Ancelotti type like that. He's all about the tactics, all about the productivity on the pitch, about the intensity, how you play, the style. But that's it. He's not very good in, in your man management. Thierry is amazing at it, obviously, because he's Thierry, because of the player that he was, because of his personality and the way he talks. And he speaks Spanish and Italian and French and English. So for a very eclectic dressing room like the one in Paris, it's perfect. And you bring Thierry with you. And, you know, Thierry is huge. If you're Kylian Mbappe and Thierry Henry is your coach, yeah, there's a lot of respect there. So I can see why Nagelsmann had the idea. Uh, we still don't know, by the way, who came up with the idea. Was it Nagelsmann himself? Someone mentioned Thierry's name. But Nagelsmann and Henry have spoken already. Again, I, I still think that Thierry wants a number one job and not a number two again. But I, I like that Nagelsmann thought that way. And, and, and I think Thierry if he agrees or had he agreed, would have worked really well for what Nagelsmann wanted. Thierry is the man manager and Nagelsmann is the tactical manager. Chaka, first instinct, Nagelsmann to PSG? Doesn't make an awful lot of sense to me. Um, and, and, and listen, I, I don't know Nagelsmann as a person as, as, or as a person that I believe PSG, PSG so desperately needs. I've sat here before and I, I've said, I, I don't think PSG's issues are anything to do with playing personnel. God knows they've had some, they, they have some incredible players in that dressing room. I don't think their issues are about the quality of manager. God knows some incredible managers mm. have been through that club without bringing the, the success that, that the, certainly the spending and, and ownership um, w w w would like to see. It's been about the culture of a football club. And as I sit here, I'm not sure Nagelsmann is a man who comes in and changes that culture changes a culture that is as deep-rooted and has been as long-lasting at PSG as it has. Even with Lionel, and not to blame Lionel Messi at all, it's only been a couple of seasons, even with Neymar moving on, um, I, I just feel that deeper down, there are bigger issues. And I'm not sure that Nagsman is a man who confronts those issues and changes this club for the better, for what they hope to be on the other side. Is it an attractive job from a manager's perspective? Like, would you want that job or would you say not? I would want to. But I don't Just to get rid of us? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have a well, what's the choice? <laughs> I mean, but Craig said yesterday on yesterday's show he wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot you know, barge pole or something like Listen, that. Listen, Julian Nagelsmann, right? If, if what Jules is saying is, is spot on, which it normally is, and he basically doesn't have a personality to, in order to man-manage the players, mm. then he's going to the wrong place, full stop. I don't care if you have the good cop with you and, and Terry Henry, it's not going to work. PSG absolutely, 100%, need to get rid of the, the big-timers. And, and until they do that, you bring somebody in who's going to be happy to toe the line. Because if you're expecting a young guy like him, the way he is to change the culture, as Jill said, mm. it's not happening, and you're crazy. I mean, imagine, this kind of shows you what PSG are. Why are you even talking to a guy who quite clearly is not the right sort of character for this place? Why would you even talk to him? That, that just tells you what, what they're about there. They don't know what they're doing. Jules, uh, what are they about? You know, what, what's the plan moving forward to Stevie's point? And specifically, what role does Neymar play? Because Shaka mentions him, and we talk about all these problems. It feels like a lot of them begin at his feet. Yeah, I mean, it seems from what 
I'm being told about the negotiation and the discussion between Nagelsmann and Luis Campos, especially the sporting director, and the club overall, is that he will be very happy with the squad that he's given. So he's not one to make demands in terms of signing, who's staying, who's leaving. I don't want him. I want to keep him. I want to do this. He will be happy with... Ugarte, Asensio, the Turan brothers, you know, whatever they can bring to the club. He knows that the club is, is trying, wants to sell Neymar, that they don't want Neymar to be there next season. He also knows, I think, that Neymar doesn't really want to be there either. But I think if Neymar was to stay, he would, he would work with him. I, I don't think, I don't think there's, a, there's a problem there. The idea about Nagelsmann, one, I think he impressed, especially in, in Qatar, in Doha, when his Bayern Munich team destroyed his PSG team pretty much home and away in the Champions League. I think that was, that was big. I think they're thinking that he will finally make this team play as a team and not just 11 individuals on the pitch, which is what we saw for most of this season and also under Pochettino and, and before. And that he will implement that style where there will be a collective strength and there will be a collective force uh, and and that's I think that's what they like. Stevie is right in a way. This is a difficult dressing room to manage. But maybe if Neymar leaves and Messi has left already, it's actually not that hard. Maybe, but it's a very eclectic. We mentioned all the languages. It's different. Some players have been there a long time. Marquinhos, Verratti, others will just arrive. There will be a lot of changes again. So it won't be easy. And but if Nagelsmann has learned from what happened at Bayern and what went wrong at Bayern, maybe that can be better. Certainly, if someone like Thierry comes with him, that will help. And just to finish on, on Thierry, what I didn't say earlier, yes, he wants to be a number one, but he, I think he also knows how much he would learn from being the number two of Nagelsmann. Even just one season, let's say he stays one year. Look at... Um, so Dino Topmore, who is the guy who was the assistant of Nagelsmann at Bayern, who then now is aiming for a number one job, might get the Frankfurt job. He would get, he would get a Bundesliga club. And th that was on the back of working with Nagelsmann, learning a lot, and then having this good reputation around him. This the same. It could be the same for Thierry. That's why I think, as much as I think he would refuse it because of that, he wants that number one place. He's also quite tempted because he knows that Nagelsmann can bring him a lot tactically and continue his learning curve with him, and then fly on his own and be a number one. Does that make sense to you? No. Stepping stone as a coach. No, I, no, what you're saying is correct. I, I just can't get away from the fact that to change a culture, the manager's the man that has to do it. Mm. And it's not going to take having a nice guy beside you. That's basically my point. The manager, to, in order for you to change a culture, you've got to get right into the middle of it and be there 24-7 and on people's back and convincing them and, and slapping a few around and encouraging a few. The manager that's going to change the culture there has to get, in, get his feet dirty, his hands dirty, and get right in amongst the middle of it. And from what I've been told about Nagelsmann and what Jules is saying, that is not, that's not what he does. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.